Full disclaimer, I am not a music channel. What? I played piano when I was about in high school, then I cried so much I peed myself. So then my mom was like, okay, you can actually stop now. But now, I can't stop watching Two Set My Life. But it has come to my attention that they picked a fight with a really big fish. What's up? Like, guys, this is Davy504. Davy504! Guys! It always ends in a checkmate. Check but here, let me give you a fighting chance. Here we have Sun Tzu's The Art of War. Our ancestors did not die for us to ignore their sage advice. But we need to play to our strengths. You practice 40 hours a day, I read 40 pages a second. Now I know we're pretty much in the midst of, or even maybe towards the end of, the great music wars. But let me give you a brief overview so you at least have a good, a good foundation. Veterans of the PewDiePie vs. T-Series War will know. Here we go. Chapter 1 is all about laying plans. So there are five things for you to keep in mind. One, moral law. So this is basically your higher power. No matter what, you have to understand you are fighting not just for yourself, but for Ling Ling's everywhere. Number two, heaven. So this is kind of like your understanding of time, day and night, seasons. So you'd understand this as 40 hours of practice. Three is earth. When they talk about earth, a lot of times what they're talking about is distance. And in a way, the internet is the great equalizer, right? You don't have to go through mountains and canyons and crevices and such. Number four is the commander. Obviously you two. And number five is method and discipline. No explanation needed. That's right. It's clear that Davy pulled the first punch. Bass is way harder than violin. And the response was quite amazing. But it is also important to know when you're waging war, you're in it to the end. Basically it's saying don't exhaust all your resources at the start unless you are able to overpower them with sheer numbers, which... If he's taking ease, give him rest. First of all, what is this? There are gaps between these uploads that you're not taking advantage of? If you are not spamming two-set violin propaganda every single day, you are just giving Davey more time to rest and regroup for the next attack. Check me. Quantity over quality. Even the YouTube algorithm says this. Chapter four, tactical dispositions. To secure ourselves against defeat lies in our own hands, but the opportunity of defeating the enemy is provided by the enemy himself. It's very important that you let him destroy himself and you come in with the final blow. This is gonna be pretty difficult, not gonna lie, because Davy is pretty much untouchable. I mean, his stoic Italian demeanor, his ability to checkmate your every move, that bass guitar. Oh damn, maybe I should switch teams. Indirect attacks efficiently applied are inexhaustible as heaven and earth. Unending as the flows of rivers and streams, like the sun and the moon, they have end but they begin anew. Like the four seasons, they will pass away to return once more. And I, this may be sacrilegious to say, but Ling Ling is not all powerful. She has a limit. When her energy runs out, so will yours. Two Set Army is your greatest asset. But there is an untapped well of little children being pushed by their parents to learn violin. And there is absolutely nothing that can stop children. So, here's what I propose. You must start your videos with a Coco Melon intro to convert the three-year-olds to our side. They will do more of the fighting than you can ever do on your own. So not an episode of Ling Ling 40 hours. Water shapes its course according to the nature of the ground over which it flows. The soldier works out his victory in relation to the foe whom he is facing. As Bruce Lee once said, be water. Damn, this video is hella Asian and I love it. <laughs> you cannot win against Davy504 by attacking him head on. You must attack his weak points, like his romance with Rumi Official. He invited his girlfriend onto his channel, so you may think there's nothing there, but I think we know that there is a secret forbidden romance happening behind the scenes. And if he's trying to hide it, that's a weak point if I ever heard one. We are not fit to lead an army on the march unless we are familiar with the face of the country. 
its mountains and forests, its pitfalls and precipices, its marshes and its swamps. The country is YouTube. The mountains and forests are recommended. The pitfalls and precipices are the subscribe button and its marshes and swamps are its notification bell. Make sure the two set army has this on lock down. Chapter eight's called variation in tactic. It's pretty similar to six and seven, so I'm gonna skip over it. The rising of birds in flight is a sign of an ambasque. I'm pretty sure I'm not pronouncing that right. <laughs> Startled beasts indicate a sudden attack is coming. Now, I don't know if you know, but Rumi official just uploaded his first video in about a month. I know, I know, he said this was technically his plan the entire time, but it is still a little suspicious with the timing. He might combine his army with Davy 504s. Secure your allies. Sound the alarm. Chapter 10 is about terrain, which is pretty similar to seven about maneuvering. So I'm gonna skip over that one. Basically get your army into the best position possible. Liking, commenting, subscribing, bell notification, the five point pentagram. Everyone needs to do all five. Chapter 12, attack by fire. One, burn the soldiers in the camp. Two, burn the stores. Three, burn the baggage trains. Four, burn the arsenals. And five, hurl fire amongst the enemy. Since we're gonna fight this war without drawing a single drop of blood, this is what we're gonna do. Number one, burn the soldiers. We're just gonna ignore that one. <laughs> two set says no to domestic violence. Number two through four, burn the store, the baggage trains, and the arsenals are kind of all gonna go under the same umbrella. They're basically saying get rid of their resources and let them starve or freeze to death. So you combine all of that together and you launch a clothing line specifically focused on this war effort. And number five, hurl fire at your enemies. We'll be changed to the ultimate power move. Just imagine this, guys. Add for two set violin on a Davy 504 video. Interesting. Last and final chapter, not the most climactic one, but number 13, use of spies. What enables the wise sovereign and the good general to strike and conquer and achieve things beyond the reach of ordinary men is foreknowledge. Unfortunately, with this video, I will have been forever blacklisted by the 504 side, but I'm still subscribed to him. But naturally, a sparrow that can blend in with both camps is gonna be the most useful to you. All right, that's enough for this video. I hope you had a laugh. Hopefully don't take this too seriously because it's all a joke. I know we're like knee deep into the war, but I never think it's too late to learn something new or interesting from a book our people wrote a long, long time ago. All right, hopefully I will see you on the winning side.